Hello lovely and welcome back to The Makeup Hunter. I'm Nora, if you haven't already been introduced to me. Um, I very much appreciate you keeping me company today. In today's video I'm going to be doing a mega haul. I have been collecting a lot of drugstore and affordable makeup products to build a now extensive makeup collection here at my static caravan that I can leave here all the time. I have talked about this in previous videos. Um, the first part of this video was a collective haul of products from other brands. So like Collection, Makeup Academy, uh, Primark. And then in today's video, I am focusing solely on Makeup Revolution and all their sister brands or you know everything that comes under the makeup revolution umbrella and this is where i've definitely got the most of my products from um i find makeup revolution products to be pretty solid i have yet to try one that i haven't really enjoyed um the price point is really good and i also use a discount code that gets me 20 percent off my order which is loose 20 um lucy stevenson is a youtuber here on uh, youtube but she also works for makeup revolution and her code will get you 20 percent off so it usually works out to be quite a decent saving i know some people are very anti makeup revolution um but I've, as i've said i've not tried any products from them that i have had an issue with um i have had a little bit of an issue with their customer service um for a recent order which i will get into um in a bit more detail as i go on with the video but other than that like i say um I've been really happy with everything that I've had from them. So if you would like to see a big old makeup revolution haul, then please do keep watching. If you would like to see more from me, more affordable drugstore and when I get home, luxury um, beauty, then please do subscribe to my channel. If you click the little bell icon, you'll be notified every time that I upload. And without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so I am sorry if the <laughs> ring light in my glasses is distracting, um, but I do need them on at this stage in the day. So I'm going to start and go in the order of how I would apply things. So the first thing that I have to show you is a primer serum. This is the Revolution Pro Eternal Rose Hydra Rose Serum. And this is beautiful. It has like little rose petals in it. I have a visitor. <laughs> um, and this is just a very hydrating, like priming serum. Um, it doesn't actually say primer on the bottle, but it was in the priming section. I haven't actually tried this yet. I've tried it on the back of my hand and it feels lovely and hydrating and smoothing and it smells like rose so i'm automatically sold on it then also sticking with primers i picked up the xx revolution um cloud complexion this is a um like a, a souffle kind of consistency um it sort of reminds me of like melted marshmallow and it smells like coconut marshmallow you know sweet I have this on today it's very it, it it's quite smoothing I didn't really notice anything like sort of getting rid of my pores like I do with like the elf putty primers but my makeup went on top really really nicely I've had it on for a, you know a good few hours now and while my oils have started to come through i have been out um it was raining um i've been eating and drinking and you know i think my makeup still looks really good for this stage of the day um and this was really beautiful it left such a nice iridescent glow to the skin um that as a dry skin girl who is 
38 and showing signs of aging that's what i want from my primers xx revolution is the higher price point for revolution because it's like combining skincare and makeup um, this was 15 pound for this primer but obviously as i said i got the 20 percent off and then sticking with that realm of like priming products i have my makeup revolution line fix under eye primer this is one of my hero products i use it pretty much every time I do my makeup unless I forget like I did today um, this just helps with the transfer under my eyes from my mascara it helps my you know concealer to stop like breaking apart under my eyes um, I have one at home and I have one here and I really do rate this very highly and then I got a um, under eye brightener and um, this is sort of like a dupe of the Becca under eye brightener but I actually prefer this one I found the Becca one very greasy and sticky whereas this feels much lighter it's still very hydrating and has great coverage but it's not super sticky and tacky under the eyes like the Becca one is this is just in the shade light to medium you get a massive massive amount of it um, I've kept my little sticky seal on it to keep it nice and fresh. But it's just a nice pinky, peachy toned colour corrector. And I've really been enjoying this. It's brilliant. And then I will talk about one more primer. Um, this is the Revolution Pro CC Skin Enhancer in gold. And this is a light reflecting technology, high definition radiance, luminous skin finish. And this is so beautiful. I pair it with the matching skin tint and the two together just make such a lovely light coverage, glowy, healthy summer skin combination. The tint, the skin tint is white it's a color changing foundation so it goes on mine's sort of been shook up so the pigment has actually mixed but if i just rub it into my skin a little bit goes a long way you can just see how lovely and glowy that looks on the skin it's beautiful um, the skin tint goes on white as I say and then as you blend it into the skin as it warms up with your skin it adapts to your skin tone they do this in about four or five different shades um, I really 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 like it it's just enough coverage um, it looks so healthy it makes the skin look so healthy um, but it wears really well as well it's not one of those skin tints that fades off the skin quickly or blends into nothing it is a really great product and it's one i've worn quite a lot over the summer okay and now i have two concealing products i have the ultimate radiant color corrector by revolution pro this is a lilac color corrector i actually have this on today just to add a little brightness under the eyes i have only used it once so you know i can't say you know too much about it but it is in a full face of first impressions it definitely did add brightness um to the under eye um but it's one that i need to use a few more times to really develop an opinion on it but from just that one experience, I did enjoy it. And then I have the IRL Filter Finish Soft Matte Concealer in the, in the shade C0.5. Um, I have all, well, all but a few bits from the IRL Filter range. I've got the foundation, the primer and the setting spray. Um, I brought the foundation here, but I've kept the primer and setting spray at home. And the concealer, I've only tried it once, but it's really good. Really brightening under the eye because I got such a light shade. This is a very light, pinky toned concealer. Um, 
it is what it says it's a soft matte concealer very full coverage um so this is one that i would wear when i'm wearing more of a full coverage foundation whereas today i've got quite a like a light medium and i've got a concealer to match so this is one that i would say for those fuller coverage days but it's great concealer so far i've got no complaints and then i have two final priming products um, these are two eye primers. So I got the Makeup Revolution Super Base Eye Primer. This is just a white eye primer that really blanks out the eye, you know, to get rid of all the veins and the discoloration on the eyelids. And I really do find that my eyeshadow wears well with it. But yeah, I really do like this. I've been using it every time I do my makeup and I do find that it makes a big difference. This one I haven't tried yet. This is the Excess Revolution Translucent Eye Primer. And I got this one to use as like in conjunction with this one. So put this one on first, do my mattes, and then put this one on to put shimmers over the top of it. But the reviews were really great on this primer and it looks exactly the sort of thing that I'm after. It's like a translucent, sticky, primer and I'm hoping that some of the more chunky shimmers in like the Makeup Academy palettes that I've got and some of the Revolution Forever Flawless like the pressed glitters and that that this will just help to enhance those. Okay and now I have three setting sprays to talk about. So the first one that I purchased was the Revolution Conceal and Define infinite mattifying setting spray i wanted something mattifying which is alien for me i'm usually all about the hydration and the glow but because of it being summer and being out more here at the caravan you know going outside more i wanted something that was going to help my makeup to last that little bit longer so i got this one and so far i've really been enjoying it i do think it helps my makeup last longer throughout the day um it's a 16 hour long wear setting spray i don't think i've worn my makeup yet for that long but i have had it on for like a full day's wear and it's wore absolutely fine so i do rate that one quite highly and then the one that i have used today is a new one to me this is the i heart revolution fixing spray in the guava and rose scent i got this specifically for the scent <laughs> um but i had heard very good things about the i heart revolution fixing sprays they've done several scents over the years um they've also got available peaches and cream and just a purple bottle that doesn't have a scent on which i think is the original one um but this smells absolutely beautiful and it really did help like my powders and everything to set in so yeah i've i've enjoyed that one when i've used it today and then another one that i've used a few times and really enjoyed this is the revolution fix and glow i'm saying revolution everything is revolution but obviously some things are makeup revolution some things are eye heart revolution xx there are so many different brands under that umbrella but this is just the revolution fix and glow dewy finish with shimmer shimmer particles so this does have like mica pigment in it that when you shake it turns into this beautiful like shimmery pink spray it doesn't leave any like chunks of glitter on the face um i have one at home by another brand that does leave like splotches of sparkle on my face and this one doesn't do that it's got a lovely fine mist beautiful mister smells really nice it smells like coconut um and it just leaves the skin looking beautiful and glowy but it helps everything set down and fix in place as well okay and some brow products i have spoken about this a few times already on my channel this is the i heart revolution honey bear brow jam and um, this was from a collection that i heart revolution bought out they had like some lip oils which i've got um, an eyeshadow palette highlighter that sort of thing i picked this up on a whim i saw it on superdrug um 
it's not available on the Revolution website. There was a bit of a um, bit of an uproar on social media about this, um, basically saying that they'd ripped off a um, small indie brand for this idea, um, which I have I have got that one, um, but I actually prefer this one. Um, don't call before me, don't hate me. It's just the one that I have from that particular brand is one that I have to activate with water, whereas this one you don't. You just use a spoolie straight into this. You don't have to activate it at all. And I love how this looks in my brows. I'm, it's all I've got in my brows today. I love the way it smells. I love the hold it has. It has a, more like a flexible hold. They're not sort of super glued down to my head. Um, and I managed to get this off the Superdrug website and I also bought another three um, because I know that once it's gone off Superdrug I won't be able to get it again. So I've got one in a backup here and one in a backup at home. I use this pretty much every single time I do my eyebrows. I absolutely love it. I cannot rate it highly enough. It's just such a shame that there was, you know, some not so pleasantness involved with the launch of this, which I can see from both sides, don't get me wrong. I can totally see from both sides. But just as a consumer, this was £3.99 um, and it was easily available to me. And then another two brow products that I have purchased that are repurchases i have tried both of these before um but i've purchased them to keep here so this is the relove power brow and the relove blade brow so the power brow is like a rectangular eyebrow pencil and i love this style of pencil for when I want like to get my brows done really quickly and I don't want to mess about. So I got that one and I forget what she, yeah, I got this in the shade dark brown. And then I also got the blade brow, which is again, a rectangular pencil, but it's super tiny. And again, I got this in the shade dark brown and I got this one to use sort of like in the fronts of my brows to create like little hair like strokes. So I have quite a few eyeliners to talk about and you will have seen me use these on camera already. So these are the Makeup Revolution Streamline Eyeliners. They come in a bunch of colours. I do have most of them. Well, there's quite a few left that I haven't got. There's like a pink one, an orange, a yellow, and I've got the shade Nude, and they've also got an ivory, which is more yellow toned. But these are such a nice eyeliner. I'm wearing the brown today. I have it smudged along my lash line and also in my waterline. They last really well in the waterline. I've worn the white in my waterline a couple of times and it lasts until the end of the day when I take my makeup off. Same for the nude one. I've got two metallic ones. I've got rose gold and silver and they are really, really beautiful. I'm hoping that they'll come out with some more of the metallic shades. Some like jewel tones would be really beautiful in this formula. Sticking to that theme, I have three eyeliners from Revolution Pro. These are the Visionary um, Gel Eyeliners and these are in metallic jewel tones. Um, I haven't actually tested these out the way that I've tested the um, Streamline ones, um, but these are really pretty. They give me Victoria Beckham vibes and the Victoria Beckham liners are my all time favorite. Um, but these are really pigmented and creamy. They're malle malleable so that you can smudge them along the lash line. But once they set down, they, they stay put. I haven't tested these in my waterline yet to see what the longevity is like in the waterline. Um, but I think I did use the green one on my lash line and it was beautiful. When I said at the beginning of the video that I had had a few issues with customer services, um, in a um, 
I've had two orders recently where I've had to contact customer services and one of them was the order where I got these liners and the white liner as well as a bunch of other stuff. Um, when my box came it was completely battered, it was open at the side, um, the white liner was missing and the green liner you'll see with these two that they have gold at the end and then they have a rubber on the end mine is a lot shorter than the others because it had snapped completely snapped in two and the end is missing the rubber because that's the bit that broke off i managed to prise out the bit that was stuck on the end and i've just covered over the end because you there's actually like lead coming out of the pencil everything in my parcel was covered in green gel liner i had to wipe everything down um it's i'm still finding it coming off on my hands on certain products um but i contacted customer services um that took ages to come back to me i sent photographs and they've asked for photographs again even though i've already sent them and because i sent them through the complaints contact form they weren't saved to my phone they were just sort of like done you take a photo attach it and then it's gone and they that was a few days ago i sent a response back and they still haven't been back in touch with me i only managed to get the white liner because the postman came back an hour later to say he'd found it in his van so everything had been just chucked in the bag none of my palettes or the i had a lot of the blushes and highlighters in the plastic packaging none of those were bubble wrapped or anything like that it was as if somebody had just gone chucked everything in and sent it out and it was a big order i spent about 130 pound on that order that's with the discount it was a big order so to have my stuff just chucked in and trashed like that i was really disappointed and it's still not resolved and this was like two weeks ago so another issue that i've had with customer service is um i recently did an order when they had a say they've got a sale going at the moment and some of the palettes that i had been wanting but had been out of stock just randomly appeared back on the website but not like at a marked down price there was the plastic boy forever flawless palette uh two of the game of thrones palettes there was some lipsticks from my heart revolution i made a small order just for the things that i had been wanting that had been on my wish list that i didn't think i'd ever get the chance to buy put the order in and then a day later i get an email to say the items were out of stock like the plastic boy palette was out of stock and the game of thrones palette was out of stock when i looked on the site the game of thrones palette was still available so i responded to them and in that time other items went out of stock so there was a lot of backwards and forwards of like you know what do you want in exchange so i'll have this oh that's now gone out of stock you know there was a lot of that going on and i was just getting really frustrated if i'd have had one more email back to say there's no stock of this i would have just said you know what forget it i'll just just refund me for the whole order because i've i'm from a customer services background i completely understand that these things happen but i think there was a better way of handling it and i have heard other people have had negative experience with their customer service so i'm hoping it's just a rare occurrence and these two times that it's happened to me i won't have any more issues because as you can see from this i spent a lot of money with the brand I talk about them all the time on here and on my tiktok and instagram so i would really hate to sort of have to take back everything that i've said okay and i have a couple of cream cheek products that i should have talked about before i talked about the eye products but there you go so the first one that i have is this super dewy liquid blush in the shade blushing in love this is a relatively new shade to the super dewy range i have quite a few of these back home um 
I really like this formula. It's like a serum blush, but it does have quite a lot of pigment. And this is that beautiful, like, baby, baby pink, like a super light pink. I will do a swatch of this. And these just sit really nicely on the skin. Um, you can put powder over them and there's no patchiness or anything like that. You can also put these on top of set foundation. I've done that and I've had no issue. That is the shade Blushing in Love. Really lovely. Um, again, I hope they bring out more shades. Um, they have a lot of like mauve nude shades, but not very many like super bright fun colours. So I'm hoping they'll do more of those eventually. But speaking of super bright fun colours, I have these three blush and highlight sticks. I absolutely love these. These are so good. There is one more in the range that is just far too dark for my skin tone. So I got the three that I can wear. So this is Champagne Shine. And you will have seen me use this in a get ready with me. These are like the super dewy blushes they work perfectly fine under powder over powder they blend really easily into the skin they are so incredibly pigmented i used champagne shine in a get ready with me and i did have a moment of panic because it was just pigment going everywhere but they do blend in really nicely into the skin then i have coral dew which i'm actually wearing today so this is lovely bright coral orange and then I like to use with these the highlighters actually mixed in with the blush and um, this one is a bit funky my um packaging like as soon as I start applying it it starts rolling down um so I have to hold the, um, the twisty bit to stop it moving down but that is the shade Coral Dew and that's the highlighter so the Champagne Shine one is more pinky toned and the um, Coral Dew is more of a gold and then the lightest one in the range I haven't actually used on my face yet this is the shade Mauve Glow and as you can imagine it's just a lovely mauve toned blush this would look lovely with cool toned looks and the highlighter on this one is the lightest of the bunch um it's almost invisible on my skin so those are the blushes there and i honestly i can highly highly rate these the um super dewy ones are 5.99 i think and these ones are 6.99 so you know these are such a good value and the super dewy ones you get so much product in that little tube for how much you actually need to dispense each time you use them okay and before i move on to the bulk of the haul i'll just briefly talk about these two mascaras this has become one of my all-time favorite mascaras this is the 5d whip lift my mom gave me a tube of this and i like a really clumpy thick spidery lash and this is my perfect mascara it doesn't smudge on me, it holds a curl, it gives me so much volume um, that I had to buy another one um, to keep here. I will also be buying another one when I get back home because the one that my mum gave me, I'm sort of on the last, like on its last leg. But this is such a good mascara. And then they recently bought out the waterproof version. So this is the 5D Whip Lift waterproof. So I picked this one up, especially for here, you know, going to the beach and things like that. I wanted a waterproof one, especially for my bottom lashes. So those mascaras are great and I have also tried the um, original 5D lash which is in like, um, I've got it here, um, this one. My mum also gave me this one. Um, I didn't buy this one, she did give me this one. Um, this is the 5D Lash Lift and Define. Um, and this one has a narrower brush. This one has like that typical Too Faced Better Than Sex one where it's like an hourglass. Whereas this one is like um, 
a cone shape so this one is more lengthening and separating whereas this one is volume and curl okay and now we are going to be moving on to an area where i have quite a lot of products um we are going to be talking about eyeshadow palettes which is what sort of started this whole thing my mum gave me two revolution forever flawless palette the chilled and the regal romance which i have done videos on both of those palettes um and i was so impressed with the formula that when we went shopping um and i picked up some makeup for the van um i picked up a palette the revolution desert desire so these are the forever flawless ones that come in the tin and this is the desert desire palette and it just sparked off a major love affair and came across a ton that I really wanted. Some of them I got at stupid prices because they were in like sales. I managed to track down some discontinued ones on Amazon for again, stupid prices. Um, and I've amassed quite a few of them. So I'm gonna show you them all very quickly, just speed through this. Um, and I'm gonna go in no particular order but this is one of the first palettes that was released in this format this is the forever flawless allure and this is one that i have used the most because it is just a super easy everyday color story the mattes blend really beautifully but the shimmers in this older formula aren't super blinding they are nice enough but the later formula, the shimmers did definitely get better. I did notice a difference, but I just love the mattes in this one and how I can get a look that's super effortless and easy. Then I've got the Forever Flawless Timeless Fantasy. This was one that I got at um, a very discounted price because it was um, unavailable on um, it, it, so they were sort of phasing it out um, this is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Glam palette which I have um, I can confirm that the colour story is pretty spot on but I have yet to use this one on my eyes so I can't speak for the quality of this one but that is one that's going to be an easy to use everyday kind of palette then we have the Nude Silk this is one of the newer palettes to the forever flawless collection again a beautiful everyday kind of palette with some pops of pink pink and purple haven't used this one either but i cannot wait to try that one um then i picked up this one off of amazon um, again for a really really good price this is the forever flawless optimum palette this is discontinued um but i just thought it was a beautiful autumn palette and a color story that you don't see all that often you know you've got lilacs pale blues and then you've got these beautiful teals and oranges so i think i am probably going to be using this palette tomorrow so i will be filming that and then also from amazon i got two of the discontinued halloween palettes these were two that i had been on the hunt for and i was just so surprised that i managed to find them on amazon this is the revolution forever flawless midnight rose and as i have mentioned previously rose is my favorite flower my favorite scent if something has got rose on the packaging or scented, then I want it. And this packaging is stunning. Don't focus on me. And this is the colour story. Obviously, very Halloween-y with those blacks, reds and real grungy tones. I did a look... Um, recently that is on my tiktok um using the reds in this palette and they came out like a neon pink on me um really beautiful i was so impressed with the quality of this palette and then another halloween one i mean look at the artwork of this isn't it beautiful this is the forever flawless enchanted i don't know why i'm saying forever flawless all of these are forever flawless palettes 
but this is the enchanted palette how gorgeous is that a real autumnal halloweeny vibes with the skull imprints in the shadows cannot wait to use that come autumn and halloween time and then the last three palettes that i have here um, in this size are a recent collection but i think they are now all sold out this was from um like a crystal collection where they did setting sprays and lip oils as well so i've got the amethyst palette which as you can imagine is a purples palette and again i haven't used any of these yet this is the aventurine palette and this is a bit of me with the greens and the teals and the warm browns and then the last one which i think is just a really pretty everyday but would be beautiful for spring palette this is the rose quartz beautiful packaging on all of these and they all have like crystals embedded in not like indented into the um matte shades on them so yeah i'm really excited about all of those and then the most recent palette that i got in the order that i had issues with um this is the i heart revolution butterfly palette it is in the tin packaging but it's not considered a forever flawless palette because this is from i heart revolution um but i just i kept going back and forth of this on this palette i wasn't gonna buy it but it just kept haunting me i just kept looking at it and i think these little palettes are about nine pound they might even be less than that and i just thought that it was really beautiful so i think that one will work great in the summer but also in the autumn as well with those like rich jewel tones so that is all the eyeshadow palettes okay and now back on to face products so i have two powders here from revolution i have the i heart revolution coconut baking powder this one i have used several times and i absolutely love it's really finely milled very soft very blurring it doesn't make you look dry or cakey it's a beautiful powder and then one i got specifically to use under my eyes is the revolution press powder infinite with niacinamide and this one is a slightly glowy powder that obviously i thought would be perfect for under my eyes i have it on today i've used it for the first time today and i really liked it when i used it and it has lasted really well then we have some blushes actually i have one powder bronzer to talk about i haven't tried this one yet this is the um revolution bronzer reloaded in the shade holiday romance which is a nice baked blush in a cooler tone um which i find really difficult to find um cooler toned bronzers and this has a nice radiance to it i filmed today a full face of first impressions and i completely forgot about this i used a bronzer that i've used many many times before because i forgot about this one duh um then we have several blushes um i obviously there is quite a lot here but this is stuff that i have been like accumulating over time like as, since i decided that i wanted to build a collection here so it's been over like a couple of months that i've been amassing all this stuff so yes it's a lot but it wasn't just bought all in one go some of it was gifted to me by my mum and dad or the stuff i got myself you know so it's not i didn't just put in a ginormous order and buy all of this in one go there are two hauls on my TikTok, which I will leave the link for in my description box, which are two super drug hauls. The first one is when I had originally decided to build this collection and I got several items then. 
then there is another one where I got a few more items and then I've done a few other orders since then. So product that I have several of but I cannot rate these highly enough. These perform better than some of my luxury and high-end blushes. These are the Blusher Reloaded and I have here 10. 10 Blusher Reloaded and I want them to do more colours of these. Um, but I have some stunning shades in these. I've used them several times and I love them so much. So this is the shade Love Struck which is a beautiful like watermelon pink. I mean, look at that, that's so gorgeous. Then I have Pop My Cherry, which as you can imagine is a bright cherry red. I think used with very light hand in the autumn, this will be stunning. Then I have the shade Coral Dream which again is a bright coral. Again, I would use a light hand with this one. Um, then I have um, one that's become a favourite, um, but one that I wasn't really that interested in and picked up in a, like my last order. This is the shade Sweet Pea. This is in the old, more bulky packaging. Um, this is a very pale peachy pink but surprisingly it does actually you can see it on the cheeks it gives a lovely like peachy pink warmth to the cheeks then the one that I have on today is the shade peaches and cream and these are such good value for money these are four pound um, and they're just a really beautiful formula then I have the shade ballerina which is a lovely dainty pink. Then I have the shade Violet Love. I got this me and my mum off the Superdrug website because it was sold out on the Revolution website. This is a lovely cool toned mauve. I also got my mum Ballerina as well. Then I have the shade Pink Lady. This was one of the first ones that I got in that very first haul. This is a lovely bright blue toned pink. And then we have the shade Rhubarb and Custard. This is one that I've used quite a few times. I really love this. This is just a go with anything kind of deep peach. And then the final one is another one of the very first blushes that I got. This is the shade Rose Kiss. And this is a lovely like burnt rose kind of a colour. So those are the blushes reloaded. And then I have several of the highlighter reloaded. This formula is incredibly stunning. I have it on today. Um, I've found it difficult to pick up the highlighters especially even at home where i have like pat mcgrath highlighters and things like that before i transported it all here i couldn't stop using these again these are four pound and these are absolutely stunning they don't pick up on texture there's no chunky glitter in them they're a really smooth flattering formula so the one that i have on today again is in the older chunky packaging this is the shade raise the bar and it's a lovely gold but it's a gold that works on my very pale like cool toned skin i do have to be careful with gold toned highlighters but that one works perfectly fine then one of the first ones i picked up was the shade just my type this is a beautiful warm champagne i think that's one of the most popular ones then the one that another one that i picked up when I picked up that one. This is Dare to Divulge. This is another champagne that has more of a pinky undertone to it. And then I have a very pink toned highlighter. This is the shade Peach Lights. I have used this one. And again, this one looks so pretty on the skin. 
not too icy it just it's translucent it just leaves a lovely glow and then this is the shade make an impact this is a very pink like pinky gold color i haven't tried this one yet i mean look at the reflect in that beautiful and then this one i bought in the last order that i placed on a whim this is the shade set the tone and it's supposed to be um kind of a dupe for the fenty diamond balm um but without the chunky glitter um this is like a white i haven't even swatched this yet it's like a silver oh yeah i can see why people say it's similar it has that transparency that would actually look really nice as an eyeshadow but whereas um the diamond bomb is completely transparent with a ton of glitter like sparkles in it in all different colors this is more of a has more of a, a base and no like glitters in it but you can imagine that in the winter and it does sort of disappear once blended in yes i love that and then my two last highlighters are kind of random so this is from i heart revolution the same range that the little square nine pan was from this is the butterfly highlighter and i got this one to use as a like blush topper and i will swatch this for you so you can see what i mean it's it's pinky but there's not a super deep base that it'll leave like um, a cast on the skin but just brushed over where you put blush at that'll look really really beautiful and i think that one was about three four pound as well and then the last highlighting product I've got, I actually purchased as a shimmery bronzer, which is what I think the creator actually created this as. It's actually called a highlighter, but it's the Revolution X-Ray Leary Golden Era. And this is stunning. It smells lovely. It smells like chocolate. And it's just a beautiful shimmery bronzer you know really fluffy brush just dust it over where you've put bronzer absolutely stunning okay and now lastly we are moving on to lip products so i just have whoop, i just have one lip liner this is the shade tgif which is a lovely rich chocolatey brown these um satin kiss lip liners are three pound i think and they are a really nice formula they're super creamy they last long enough on the lips and then i have four lip oils i have become a huge fan of the revolution lip oils i have one on at the moment i originally purchased um one on a whim one of the i heart revolution honey lip oils i got a rose honey i think it was which was like a pinky toned one and i love that so much i've used a load of it already i've left that one at home so i picked up the original honey one and then in that new butterfly collection they bought out two more in the same sort of packaging so the one I have on now is like a clear lilac colour and that is the shade Flutter. As you can see on my lips, it's clear. The other ones are clear as well. But I like keeping these in my handbags next to my bed. I put them on when I start doing my makeup. They're just super comfy. They're not at all sticky. They're really lightweight and I just, I can't get enough of them. And then this one is like a sparkly one. I haven't actually used this one yet. This is in the shade Wings and it's like a white with um, gold sparkle in it. 
Then the last lip oil I have is actually a plumping one. This is one of the Revolution Pro Glossy Plump lip oil and this one is in the shade Blackberry. And I can confirm it's a really comfortable plumping sensation. It's like a cold minty feel rather than like a spicy one, which I cannot stand. Um, sticking to that theme, I have four lip glosses I didn't actually buy, my mum gave me these, but I thought I'd include them in this haul. Um, the first two that I have are the Pope Bombs plumping lip glosses, and I have a super light nude, pinky nude called Candy, and then a pink in the shade Kiss. And these are that cold, minty, plumping sensation. And she also gave me these two shimmer bombs as well. These ones I don't think are plumping. They just have vitamin E in them. So let me just put one on so I can tell you if it's plumping or not. This one is the shade Glimmer. And I think this one has had a bit of a moment on TikTok. So it's sold out. I obviously have that lip oil on. No. No this one is these shimmer bombs aren't plumping at all they have like a light vanilla scent to them and they just feel like a normal lip gloss but these aren't like super sticky they do feel thick on the lips like a normal lip gloss not thin like a lip oil there is substance to them but you can see they're not like creating that those goopy lines or anything so i really like those and then because I liked these so much, I wanted to get a few in some darker shades because I really like wearing like a dark lip gloss with a lip liner and nothing else. And I just think it gives that real like juicy sort of like black honey kind of a vibe or that sort of like I've just had my lips done and they're a bit bruised and sore. So I got these three shades. These were all very reduced in the sale. So I've got the shade Sugar, which I wore today, which is a rich, deep nude. Then I have the shade Daring. This really does give that black honey vibes. It's beautiful. And then this one, which looks black, which is called Crave, but it's a deep purple tone. There are swatches of these on my TikTok. And again, I will leave the link below, but these are beautiful. They are so comfortable, but they really do make your lips look plump and juicy. And then similar sort of vibes, plumping, juicy, but cooling. These are the Pout Bombs. Those are the Pout Bombs. These are the Pout Bombs. And these are like dupes of the Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Serums. These are the ones that you sort of like, you click up and you can't roll them back down. And I first got two shades just to try. I got the shades Bear Shine and Mocha Shine. Um, just to give them a try and I really liked the formula so much that I picked up the last three so the first one that I got is the shade Bear Shine and even though it's supposed to be like a nude it definitely is pinky um, but these they smell really minty and I like to just sort of like put a lip liner on and then just dab them onto the lips rather than go full on with them because they are quite you have to be quite delicate with them because they're very melty. Um, then I got the shade Mocha Shine, which is a nude. And then the last three that I got are all like pinks. So this one is the shade Rose Shine. And these are swatched on my TikTok. Um, then I've got the shade Pink Shine, which is a lovely like blue toned pink. And the brightest and most fun is the shade Fuchsia Shine. And when I swatch these on my TikTok, the pigment is unbelievable on these for balms. And they wear really, really nicely. And that is everything. That was a mega haul. Um, I'm so glad I filmed that and got it out of the way. <laughs> 
there won't be a haul this week as this for a very long time to come i am now done i am happy with my collection as it is i've just got that one more order where i placed for some bits out the sale which god knows what's going to arrive after all the fiasco that i had with it but that's only a small order i will probably film that um, when i get back home um but that's all to bring here as well so yeah as i say um I've been really impressed with everything that I've tried so far. There isn't anything that I can say that's been adored. Um, maybe the customer service, but the products themselves are great. I have been really enjoying them and they are so affordable. So I hope you enjoyed this video um, and that you will subscribe to see more from me. It means the absolute world. Give me a like if you did enjoy this and if you <laughs> stuck through to the end, leave me a black heart emoji. Um, thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you in my next video.